we're watching right now as the motorcycle motorcycles lead off to start up that procession to escort <clears throat> excuse me to escort the body of the sergeant to the medical examiner's office right now such great teamwork and un unison that they share along with their brotherhood let me tell you what former sheriff john wetzel has to say about this bobby sergeant bobby swartz was a good man a superb and dedicated deputy who served with pride and professionalism. He sacrificed his life for the citizens of Oklahoma County. I was proud of his service and his friendship. May he rest in peace. At John Wetzel, the former sheriff of Oklahoma County. The longtime sheriff here who obviously served with the sergeant. And now it begins the procession to the medical examiner's office one mile away in that white vehicle is the body of Sergeant Bobby Swartz. Kaylee Olivas, you're there near it. It's really loud, she might not be able to hear me. Kaylee, if you can hear us, uh, we're coming to you. Yes, yes, I'm so sorry. There is so much commotion out here and, and my jaw is on the floor. I'm here in the moment and it's still shocking to see how many officers are here right now. As you can see, the procession has already begun from state troopers to county sheriffs, uh, officers and deputies to Oklahoma City PD, as well as many other departments here around the state of Oklahoma. They're all here transporting um, Sergeant Bobby Schwartz's body to the medical examiner's office. It's about a mile away from where we're at here at OU Health. and. As officers are walking out, I could see that they were still shaken up even hours later. I mean, I saw two deputies hug each other in comfort. And there you see them going down, that appears to be Lincoln Boulevard towards the state capitol, not far from the state medical examiner's office. Mason, you were just saying, you know, we just saw this recently with the Edmond police officer killed in the line of duty while on the job. The, it's, it's just something that you never, ever want to see happen again. That never gets easy. Right. No, it's a, it's a little bit emotional. As you can see, they're escorting uh, to the medical examiner's office. They are headed north on, on Lincoln here. Uh, up ahead, they usually send officers up ahead, which they have sent a motorcycle up ahead to block any intersection that they will be coming to. Um, this is kind of like deja vu. We just did this a few weeks ago, and it's very sad. Um, as you can see, the long line of police cars with the motorcycles uh, out front. And they'll be going uh, near the Capitol, which I'm just north of the Capitol looking south, uh, down Lincoln right now, and then they'll be making a right turn on 23rd. And then the ME's office is just about two blocks uh, away, right across from the governor's mansion. So uh, you're seeing what I'm seeing. It's a little emotional up here. So uh, we're just going to stay up here with it uh, from McIntyre Law, Chapter 4, back to you. And our thoughts really are with the family right now, as well as all of his friends, colleagues, relatives, but the family, because it's one thing when you lose someone to a medical problem. It's quite another when their life is stolen by someone. Mm -hmm. So not only do they have the grief of losing Sergeant Bobby Schwartz, mm -hmm. they also have the grief and the anger now of the fight they'll have to have when it comes to seeing justice for his death. Just so many horrific things that they will be facing and our thoughts and prayers are with them and will be with them. And it cuts so deep on the Oklahoma County Sheriff's Department, and I would imagine right now on the Edmond Police Department, because as Mason said, they just went through this a few weeks ago uh, with the officer who was killed on his motorcycle. And this is a similar scene. And uh, tough, tough for everybody. Uh, the toughest on the family, of course, but on those in law enforcement, not only in Oklahoma County, Sheriff's Department, Edmond, Oklahoma City, but everybody, because they all face the same risk of what the sergeant did today. And he'd been doing it a long time, long time. And as you heard the comment from Sheriff 
John Wetzel, the former sheriff of Oklahoma County, he was superb at what he did. Hmm. Superb is a beautiful word to yeah. use. That's when you have accomplished everything you can at your profession. And we are watching the uh, procession right now to the medical examiner's office. And it is a slow one, and it is in honor of the sergeant who lost his life, who's in the white vehicle there. Kaylee Olivas watched it all happen. They drove right past her. Kaylee, you're on the ground with more. That's right, Heather. We're still here, and I'm not going to lie. It, it's hard not to cry myself, and, and you know, it, it's hard to stand by and watch all of this happen after hearing everything that's gone down today. I mean, as I was saying earlier, we were watching police officers and deputies come out of OU Health, consoling one another, hugging one another, and just crying on each other's shoulders. You know, it was emotional to watch that as well as the procession itself. There are so many officers, so many deputies here in Oklahoma City to support this man who died. And his name again is Sergeant Bobby Schwartz. Um, everyone we've talked to today has offered their condolences to the family as well as the other officers who knew Mr. Schwartz. A lot of them say that this is more than just working side by side, that they're brothers in arms and that they couldn't have asked for a better guy to work alongside. As I've heard, he is kind. He was amazing at his job and an excellent person to work with. So I can't imagine what these officers and deputies are going through. Uh, like I said, it, it's, it's very hard to watch being here on the ground, but we'll continue to keep you posted and updated as we continue to get more information. Back to you guys in the studio. Kaylee, thank you. And you can imagine what his partner, who is in stable condition, we understand, which is good news, will be feeling uh, once he learns what all has happened here. And uh, he was on scene with Sergeant Swartz, as was another deputy uh, who was not hit. But this is the medical examiner's office. This is where Officer Schwartz's body will be taken inside, and that will be the end of the procession, but not the end of the mourning mm. for all law enforcement in Oklahoma. I was on Twitter trying, looking in information, Oklahoma City Fire Department, Oklahoma City Police, all tweeting their condolences. The Highway Patrol. Yes. Um, Pottawatomie County Sheriff's Office, we talked to them earlier. Everyone, mm -hmm. every law enforcement agency feels this because it's, it would, that's a horror to lose one of your own in such a way. So right now they are at the medical examiner's office. His body has arrived and this is part of the procession to honor Sergeant Swartz. And of course the most important thing is the fallen deputy, but the investigation does go on. And, of course, we're following that as well. The suspect is in custody. And if you're just getting home uh, from work and tuning in, Oklahoma County Deputy Bobby Swartz, sergeant, was shot today, as was another deputy who is now in the hospital in Stable. But Deputy Swartz succumbed to the gunshot wounds, tragically, and has been taken to the medical examiner's office with a full honor guard of other law enforcement leading the way. The suspect is in police custody. So if you are just joining us, we've been covering this breaking news all day since about 1 o'clock, 1.15. And that is when, from inside of a garage, a man began shooting at three deputies. Two of them were struck. They were then brought here to this hospital. That location, the scene location, is Southwest 78th and Penn area near I-240. So after that happened, the suspect jumped in a truck that was hauling a boat and led officers on a high-speed chase from I-35 to I-40 and then exited at the main Tinker Gate there on Air Depot, went up to the gate, and before it ended, we're told that he had been shooting mm. at officers and officers were shooting at him during the drive and you could see that there were two bullet holes, what appeared to be bullet holes, on his front windshield. Um, but then when he arrived at Tinker, he dropped his gun, which was an AR-15, correct, Kevin? It looked like some kind of assault rifle, yes. And then dropped that and then surrendered. And then that is when they got him on the ground, hogtied him and took him away. And he appeared to be in his mid-30s. He was shirtless. And we are going to release his identity tomorrow once the Oklahoma City Police Department 
gives us the okay. And we also understand that there were bullet holes in one of the law enforcement car that was pursuing him. We don't know if that came from him, the suspect, or if they uh, shot that when he was shooting at them and they were trying to fire back. Because they can fire straight through their windshields. Mm -hmm. Yes. And you see them lining up right now to once again salute and pay respect to the Oklahoma County Sheriff Deputy who was shot and killed in this. And it is a somber scene, as we've been saying, one we've seen not too long ago, uh, as the Edmund officer was killed on his motorcycle, and that suspect is also charged. You know, another way that agencies are coming together, all different agencies, is uh, right now the Oklahoma City Police Department is helping the Sheriff's Department, and they're saying all calls need to come to us from the media because you saw earlier Aaron Brilbeck and the sheriff break down in tears. Um, so the police department is now helping out with media calls. And just that just goes to show the brotherhood mm -hmm. between agencies. Uh, of course, they are saluting. They are saluting. Oklahoma City is leading the investigation on that. Oh, you can just, oh, and, it's hard to see them weep. Yeah. But yes, just a very, very sad scene. Sergeant Bobby Swartz, his body is now at the medical examiner's office where his comrades are crying and mourning with each other.